Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting, guys. Welcome to my personal tiny house build. Um, today's project is pecs and the fittings and everything. How to do it, how to pressure test your house, um, how to install the pecs, um, just some information about it. And I hope this video is a help to you. So with that said, let's get back to work on this house. Okay, so to begin the adventure in doing pex pipe plumbing, first we need to get kind of familiar with the parts and... Um, you know the items that you would be using and not only that we're going to make a specialty connector for you to pressurize your line so that you kind of get a feeling of how this stuff crimps goes together and etc all right so there's all sorts of pex type fittings out there there's elbows t's plugs which this is what we're going to use for testing in a minute um, there's unions where you can go from say you didn't have a long enough piece you can go from that piece to another there's adapters to go from pex to where that you can uh, hook your water lines and such to um, to your sinks, faucets, toilets, etc. So there's all sorts of variety out there. And really, you're only going to need two tools for working with PEX. You're going to need a cutter, and you're going to need a PEX crimping tool. Okay, and the way you do that is you open it up. You will put the band. Hold on just a second, guys. Sorry, I'm one hand in this while I film it. You're going to put the band into there like so, and then you'll pull that down and crimp it and it'll pull it into the notches and tighten that down torque that into place all right now to pressurize your house there's two ways of doing it okay there is this type of fitting right here all right you can get at home depot it is a three quarter inch fh times half inch inside diameter all right and what that is we rip this open here once again forgive me so i'm doing this while i'm filming is we open this fitting up and right here now if you can get it in three quarter pecs that's awesome because then you can just squeeze it right into the three quarter pecs that you have um outside because now i don't um i don't use half inch pecs this is the only time i'm going to use half inch is just to make this little adapter piece so what we'll do then is we'll go from a half inch to three quarter reducing coupling okay and that's going to tie those two pieces together right there and we're going to do that with this half inch piece of pegs. Now I'm gonna show you where that's gonna go on the tiny house here. My lines, when I get out to my property, I'm going to run them in protective coating down into the ground so that's insulated, well insulated. And there's nothing out here in a box to freeze my pumps, anything like that, that's gonna be in its own shed. All right, and so what I'm going to do here in a minute is we'll put that in there, we'll crimp that, and then we'll test it. Now, I'll have just enough pecs left that when I cut that off, that my final piece, the elbow, will go in there, and likewise, I've got plenty of extra pecs. This is what I'd like to add extra stubbed out here. But anyway, it's okay. We've got enough to do the test today plus the finish work later. Now, real quickly, before we get into the test, which Jonathan is putting the water hose over the fence for me right now as we're prepping for this test today um there's some of the tongue and groove going on the wall i really like how that's starting to take shape um here you can see this would be where the vanity will be and then here is the tie-in over to the rv um toilet and then the water lines go up and over which this is still exposed on the upside and then over here to our valve for our shower and so we're going to test the um we'll, we'll, we'll test the uh the cold first and then we'll test the hot and i'm going to clear this out where the water will run out the drain and um yeah and then the, the only situation you have to worry about is like in the kitchen we'll put a plug there put a plug here and a plug there then when we're done with that we'll cut that off recycle the plugs put one in the hot and one in the hot in the kitchen and test those and once that there's no leaks noticed found anywhere then you're good to go and when you're crimping your pegs now you can flex this stuff okay it's not like hard pipe you can have a lot of flex to it but you don't want to have too much tension you know like easy gentle bends stuff like that's fine but you don't want to really have like a tight tight bend because that puts pressure on the fittings okay so anyway with that said we're going to go out here i'll crimp that piece Make the adapter. I'll show you that in put in place, and then we'll start our test. Run. All right, guys, as you can see right here, we've got our adapter made to go into the house now. Now, I have not banded this because I'm going to let Jonathan just hold that tied up into that. 
um, to pressurize that because it doesn't matter if it leaks a little bit out here. I'm just worried about it leaking out there and then we'll pull that out, plug it into that one. So I'm gonna get this screwed together and I'll walk in there and film while Jonathan lets the pressure off the tension on the line and then we'll see how the um, the hot side does. You letting it off? Ready? Yeah, go ahead. All right, Jonathan's pressurizing the lines right now. I don't see any leaks there. Don't see any leaks here. We can hear the water flowing. Now, what I'm going to do is we're gonna take and test our valve, turn it on. air out the line and there's water flowing there okay and we can see the cold side nothing it is the hot side so that's a success there's there's no leaks there all right so now we're going to move to the cold side we'll we'll check that and then after that, we'll be done and we can go ahead and finish covering in our wall. So guys, the pressure test was a success. The only issue that I had is actually, interestingly, right here where we started this video, um, right here, there's just a little bit of tightening needed to be done. Um, and just, just in this area right here on the pretty much the cold side and just a little bit right here. So really simply, um, you know, someone might ask, how do... You resolve that issue without undoing all this. Well, that's really simple because the PEX is flexible. I'm not going to fool with this today um, because I've got so much other work to do. Um, and this wall is not one that I'll be fooling with today, so this will be at a later time. But the way that you would resolve that um, is that you would just untighten these fittings that are already crimped to the PEX because it'll, it'll rotate in the PEX. And because that's banded, the way it is, it will actually unscrew out of that. So I can actually take this back off, put a little more pipe dope on it, and then tighten it back up into place later on and pressure test these lines. Um, or I'm sorry, just pressure test the cold side line because it's still plugged. So I can do that anytime, 30 minute fix, and be back in action. But today, I'm gonna get back to the walls where that I've shown you in the video before this one um, about the insulation because I really wanna get this thing um, finished up the insulation. Um, before we get the really last bit of winter um, and that way I can make a good push into the spring and plus get our um, finish work done in here. So that said, guys, until we see you again here at my tiny house, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.